so supposedly this this guy escapes prison using a bowl of soup i don't know how to freak that is possible i never heard of somebody escaping prison in general but let alone with a bowl of soup now you're lying now i'm intrigued type shit. so we better watch this and see what it's about aomori japan 1936 okay. prisoner yoshie shiratori had had enough he was forced to confess to a murder he did not commit. Falsely okay. imprisoned in Aomori prison. Beaten and tortured every night by prison guards. And now worse, Yo, good, prosecutors Jira. were seeking the death penalty. In mm -hmm. his mind, it was time to go. But Aomori prison wasn't the easiest to escape. Regardless, Yoshie Shiratori had nothing to lose. And mm -hmm. so at 5.30 a.m., he made his move. He knew there would be a 15 minute gap in the patrol time as he had studied the guards routine for months. Yo, why is this on some like Kim Possible like spies? Like, I don't know. Like, he, he acting like freaking Jackie Chan or some When the coast was clear, <clears throat> he pulled out a metal wire which he had smuggled in from the bathhouse and started to pick the lock. This was originally the metal support. Picking ring locks is the fake around ever, the baby. I tried picking locks before and those don't work, bro. Probably I'm just not skillful like that, but. Started to pick the lock. This was originally the metal support ring that was wrapped around the bathing buckets inmates used to wash themselves. He said he didn't commit a murder, he was wrongfully imprisoned on some shit. Bro, you're not skillful, you a bum. Stop it. Stop it. Respect yourself. <clears throat> you know my body. You know my body. His hands were stiff from the wintry cold, but after a few minutes of picking, he had success, and his oh, cell door winter. swung open. But he wasn't out of the woods yet. I love winter. Because there were more locked doors ahead. He okay. knew he only had a few minutes left oh, before like the guards would return, show. and so he wasted no time attempting to pick his way through the remaining security doors. Okay. Now, fortunately for him, he was able to make it out of the facility, but the bad news was that he was only halfway to freedom. You see, okay. he was still well within the search perimeter, which meant at any moment the alarm could go off and he'd still be caught. Mm. At 5.45 a.m., the guards returned, peering into his cell, mm -hmm. and this is what they saw. Okay. Shiratori sound asleep in his futon bed. But of course, what <laughs> yeah. he didn't realize was that they were looking what at something hilarious. else. A pile of loose floorboards underneath his duvet designed to trick them. It wasn't mm, until the next morning move. that they finally discovered the truth and the alarm was sounded. Yep. But by then, Shiratori was long gone. Okay. Now, he had escaped. But if you've watched any of our previous videos, you'll know that things aren't always as they seem. I never In fact, did. for Yoshie Shiratori, aka the prison break magician, mm -hmm. this was only the beginning. Okay. Three days later, he was caught trying to steal supplies from a hospital. And just like that, he was back in the slammer. Like, what type of dumb ass was that, bro? Like, bro, man is on crack to escape. <laughs> what? <laughs> bro, son got out free, bro. Free. And then you go and try to freaking rob a hospital for what? Like, what did you need so badly? That's you, you risked your your freaking your freaking freedom, bro. Like you were out. You were you were good. Damn. But this time, for his escape attempt, he was sentenced to life in prison. He would never be with his family again. His life wife and his daughter. Crazy. And all the months of planning had led to just three days of freedom. Just just seems, just to rob a hospital. Like what? Like what was he robbing, bro? Like that's so dumb to me. Be locked up. For a very long time. Six years later, in 1942, in the midst of the Second World War, Shiratori mm -hmm. found himself transferred to Akita Prison in Akita City. There, the guards treated him even worse than in Aomori. They had heard about Shiratori. Like, he didn't even have to do the time, bro. He got out already. Like, he should have just stayed out, bro. Like, why did why did he go rob his, his previous hospital? escape and were determined to make an example out of him? They wanted to make sure he would never escape again. Okay. Along with the usual beatings, he was forced to partake in extreme manual labor, made to sleep on the hard concrete floor in the severe winter cold, oh, and nah. placed into solitary confinement for extended periods of time. That's now this was a specially up. made solitary confinement cell, which was very small and had a very high ceiling, with uh -huh. the walls covered with copper sheets so smooth that it was impossible to grip. In okay. addition, there was almost no sunlight even in the daytime, with the only window light coming from a small sealed skylight high above. Bro, I want this a ceiling was a room light, designed bro. to keep escape My artists nice from escaping. And if that wasn't enough, the guards also made sure that Shiratori was handcuffed at all times. Now, despite the constant abuse, that got one of the guards, Kobayashi, in fact the head guard, took pity on him. Mm. Kobayashi never laid a finger and even seemed to check up on him from time to time. W guard, chat, well W guard. Perhaps this made life a little more bearable for Shiratori. And it might have even been what kept his will alive all the way to the night of June 15th. Yeah, because people be going crazy. Night, 
being locked up for too long. In the middle of one of his extended stays in solitary confinement, mm -hmm. at around midnight, one of the guards peered <laughs> into a cell it. and couldn't believe his eyes. He opened the cell door and looked around in astonishment as Yoshie Shiratori had vanished into thin air. All Behind that was left was his handcuffs. So how did he do it? Well, there were a few assumptions the guards made that did not apply to Shiratori. For mm -hmm. one, handcuffs simply didn't work on him. Shiratori was actually a master of getting out of handcuffs and okay. in fact had several methods to choose from. Here, he decided to go with the familiar lock picking method, but uh -huh. he really could have gone with any of them. He had thoroughly scoured his surroundings to find anything that could be of use in an escape. And just like in Aomori prison, he was able to uncover a loose bit of wire. Perhaps it was from one of the items Kobayashi brought him, but this wasn't clear. Okay. After freeing sure. himself from the cuffs, sure. he placed his palms and soles of his feet on the smooth copper sheets and started mm -hmm. climbing the unclimbable wall. It turned out Shiratori was also an expert climber of with course. an uncanny ability to scale like a lizard. Of course. Once he reached the skylight above, he, he noticed that, yes, the window was sealed, but the wooden framing around it was starting to rot. So <laughs> I'm saying, like, night of course night, he could do when that. When the guards weren't looking, he'd climb the copper walls and loosen some the Some really awesome Spider-Man bit, bit. Afterwards, he'd climb back down and place the handcuffs back on, as to not rouse suspicion. After uh -huh. a couple months, the window finally came loose, and from there, it was just about choosing the right day. He waited mm. until a particular stormy night, so the guards wouldn't hear the footsteps on the roof. And that was it. He had escaped from prison again. Now this time, he wouldn't be caught. Okay. Or at least, not in the way you'd expect. Three no, months later. No way he get chat, if he gets put back in prison, because this video is still freaking 20 minutes long, if he gets caught again, bro, he's he's just stupid at this point. He 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 loves Joe. He loves the um freaking the adrenaline like um freaking escape in prison gives him. Like it, that got to be the reason, cause like why he keep going back, bro. September 18th, the head guard Kobayashi was at home when he heard a knock on the door. To his surprise, it was the fugitive Yoshie Shiratori, unkempt mm. and disheveled, and he needed a favor. A stunned Kobayashi took him in and fed him, all the while listening to what he had to say. Shiratori explained that oh he didn't actually mind being in prison and that the only reason he escaped twice now was due to the tremendous abuse he suffered at the hands of the sadistic guards. Facts. Kobayashi, however, was the only one who treated him with any amount of respect and so he felt w. he owed it to him to let him in on his grand plan. Now, this plan involved grand Shiratori plan. willingly, yes. Like the way that the, the narrator is making it seem, he making it seem like he a freaking, um, it's a freaking move, movie or it's like fake or something. Like, bro, grand plan, just talk regular, bro. Like, you're doing too much. Handing himself over to the Justice Department, where he could then personally make a case for how corrupt and barbaric the Japanese prison system was, mm -hmm. and there needed to be reform. He wanted to campaign for change, and in the process, gain his legal freedom through a civil lawsuit. He felt okay. this was the only way he could <laughs> Oh God, I'm waiting for that. Family. This, of course, was a super ambitious plan, and as a fugitive on the run, he was well aware of that which is why he needed Kobayashi, the well-respected head guard of Akita prison, to vouch for him, to strengthen his credibility. As the only guard who ever treated him right, he had a feeling Kobayashi would do the right thing. Okay. Minutes later, while Shiratori was in the toilet, Kobayashi called the police. Of course, I knew that was going to happen. Great plan. I Just literally like that, knew that Shiratori was going to happen. Shiratori was back in prison. I knew I literally knew that was going to happen like but you got to be slow, man. He's, he's he's a freaking guard, bro. Of course he was gonna rat on you, like, oh, uh, y'all just be too slow this for time, me, bro. he vowed never to trust an officer of the law again. For the second escape, the courthouse added three more years to his life sentence. Now, Wait, what was that doing? He already got a life sentence, like... Said to be sent to I'm sorry, bro, prison, this is triggering the weather me. was warmer, as he couldn't stand the cold in the northern prisons. His okay. previous stints had weakened him severely, but he was denied his request. Instead, the judge sentenced him to the infamous Abashiri prison in Hokkaido the mm -hmm. northernmost prison in Japan. No man had ever escaped from this Never wintry touched the hellhole pigs. of a prison. Bro, what? It was now 1943, what does that mean? and the cold was unbearable in Abashiri, as the temperature in the cells was below freezing point. I personally Whenever like inmates the received cold. their prison food, At least New York the miso cold. soup and soy sauce would often freeze up. In this temperature, a handcuffed Shiratori was thrown into an open cell in summer clothing, and he immediately felt the summer paralyzing clothing? sting of cold air. Perhaps in a fit of desperation, he tried to force himself past the guards, but they were able to push him back and beat him down. 
an enraged and defiant Shiratori stood back up and vowed that he would escape from Abashiri prison, like mm -hmm. he's always done, and that there was nothing they could do about it. Mm -hmm. In fact, he claimed there was little point even putting handcuffs on him, as he'd always find a way to break free. Okay. If not by lockpicking, then, well, this. Nah, I freaking hate the heat, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I really hate the heat. And y'all know, the only way I know how to, um, like, get through, um, handcuffs is, like, dislocating your thumbs. Y'all ever heard of that? When I used to watch the arrow, he used to do that all the time. W he then proceeded to rip apart the chain of his handcuffs to the horror of the guards. Some guy's supernatural it out, strength. Shiratori had another Fun. special ability. Aside from his outstanding climbing abilities, uh -huh. he also possessed incredible strength. Oh, almost shit. superhuman oh, strength. Incredible Back strength in Akita too. Prison, he could have broken free of the cuffs. This might be like the Asian Spider Man that we like all been asking for. That's gotta be the only explanation. Like the physical way if he didn't have to put them back on. Now, this was impressive, but it wasn't so smart to lay his cards on the table like that, as the guards were starting to build an escape profile on him. They knew he had lock-picking abilities, lizard-like climbing nah, abilities, why is he talking like that? Lizard-like climbing abilities? Super strength? Because I laugh. Almost superhuman strength. And so they set out to devise the ultimate escape-proof cell, one that was sure to be Shiratori-proof, and they came up with this okay, the see. new cell had steel fixtures just remove the windows bro literally yoke. just remove the windows I, I don't think like prisons prisons could do that but if you remove the windows bro there's no way he's escaping bro there's like he would have to go through the prison to escape you know what i'm saying openings even the bars removed were made smaller than his body meaning there was oh, no way okay. he could physically fit through he had specially made solid iron handcuffs that tied his hands behind his back and oh. leg cuffs that made him barely able to stand these cuffs weighed Damn. 20 kgs each and had no keyhole. Is that heavy? They could not be lockpicked. And the only way they could be removed was by two metalwork specialists who would come once every few weeks to remove them in an arduous two hour process. It was at this Damn. point and only this point that he could even oh my take God, a bath. And he certainly needed one as weeks of being shackled up with no movement meant his cuff wounds were infested with maggots. On oh, top of nah. that, and as cold as it had already That's been, so messed up. it wasn't even peak winter yet. Any strength he would have left would surely be nullified by the upcoming freeze. All I'm saying, if I ever get, well, God forbid, because I'm never getting locked up, but uh, 20 kg is like 40 pounds, bro. Damn, that's heavy. I'm guessing. I, I guess that's heavy. Uh, but yeah, if I'm ever locked up, I'm just work out. Work out. I heard working out, like, keeps the mind off. I mean, keeps the mind off. Stop. But I'm never getting locked up, though. I'm just saying, like, in jail, I feel like that's, that's like, the best time to get your body range. Feel me? Like, to look good and shit. That shit. Though just in case, they still made sure to cut his already meager food portions in half. And so oh, that was nah. it. Even That's for so Shirakori, this was too much. As winter came, he succumbed they to his, his fate. Every day, the guards would slide his meal through the opening, and he'd be forced to grovel like a dog. His hand and leg cuffs made every action awkward and uncomfortable, with even sleeping being a pain. There was no doubt, life in Abashiri prison was absolute torture. Word. Now, fast forward. Shiratori was somehow <coughs> able to survive through the winter, and okay. spring was coming. This meant he was starting to get his strength back. W. But still, what could he really do? He was literally in a bind. Months passed, and well, joke, nothing bro. seemed to happen. He was then one bind. night, in August, a guard in his office was doing some paperwork mm -hmm. when he heard some shuffling on the roof. He mm. wasn't sure what it was, but he decided to check on the prisoners. Okay. As he looked inside Shiratori's inescapable cell, he was stunned. He was the gone. futon bed and prison garments were neatly folded up. Oh, hold on. He made 20 kg handcuffs and leg cuffs that would have required. He was putting like he he was really flexing on them, bro. He folded his clothes for them. He put the put the chains and now like he was really flexing on it. He was like, y'all can't hold me. Y'all can't hold me. Type. A two I specialist, see, I see, I see. two hours to remove was placed on the side. And Shiratori Damn. was nowhere to be seen. He really he be had finally like, fulfilled he his really liked that, to I the see. guards. The alarm immediately sounded, but despite the work of the search party, it seemed he had truly disappeared. I already know he's gonna get locked up again because they they didn't even talk about the spoon part yet. How on earth did this happen? How did he escape from the fortress that was Abashiri prison? The fortress? Like, well, preparation had started six Superman? months earlier. At the time, he didn't have the strength or stamina to mount any sort of escape, not to mention the restraints he was in. Mm -hmm. But one thing he did have was time and patience. Okay. Every day, the guards would slide his meal through, and oh. while he struggled to eat his food off the floor, 
He always made sure to save a little bit of the miso soup in the corner. You see, every night, he would hobble awkwardly to the inspection window mm -hmm. and splash a little of it on the steel frame. So he would also dab some on his what handcuffs do, and leg cuffs. Now, his intention was for the salt content of the miso soup uh -huh. to oxidize the screws and bolts, eventually uh -huh. corroding and loosening it. After a month, okay. this technique of rusting through the iron actually worked, and the first screw came out. The next few months saw screws and bolts coming loose, assisted by the use of the first screw as a sort of screwdriver. Mm. By the end of spring, he was able to fully remove his handcuffs and leg cuffs, as well as the steel frame of the inspection window. Okay. But there was a problem. The size of the opening was smaller than his body, yeah, which meant he, do that? he couldn't fit through, a contingency thought out by the guards. Mm -hmm. What they didn't account for, though, was Shiratori's fourth ability which involved being able to dislocate his joints at will. Like, why are they just gassing this man up? Making him seem like a superhero on some shit. Like, he's just a regular human. His fourth ability, like... Man, this narrator is funny as hell, bro. With this, he was now able to slide through the opening like a caterpillar. This repertoire of skills, thus surely making him an honorary member of the x <laughs> With that, he climbed through a broken window in the roof what is a vanished. mythical creature? Oh, Impressively, God. Shiratori had now escaped from Eight three tentacles. prisons, as well as being the only man to ever escape Abashi three prisons prison. Three is crazy. Now, good on him for escaping. But it's flight. It gotta be. It gotta be. Or he probably got like one punch man abilities, and he could like make himself rubbery. How I'm feeling? I'm feeling good. How was your day? What out of ten? One out of ten. Let's know. This was northern Hokkaido. And the only direction he could have gone to was the cold, snowy mountains. Okay. Actually, the prison guards felt that they had the last laugh. Because mm. if the cold didn't get him, the mountain bears certainly would. Mm, Despite his likelihood, there was one person who stayed hopeful. And that was Shiratori's wife. Five. You two join the streams. It's fun, bro. <laughs> For real, though wife mm -hmm. but she was still worried because even if he was alive mm. she knew he wouldn't be able to make it back to his family as i see as the authorities would be constantly on his tail mm -hmm. which is why she was desperately and secretly hoping that japan would lose the war as that oh. would enable the u.s to take over the country meaning everyone would likely forget about her husband of mm. course i doubt she it. kept this to herself Scrape but then three prisons, a year later forget about in august 1945 she got her wish. I never heard of that roller coaster. They lost the war. I was Japan, bro. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. The Americans had now taken <laughs> over the penitentiary system. What am I doing? And sweeping changes were being made. And it did seem, perhaps, that the manhunt for Yoshie Shiratori had now taken a back seat. Yet the question remains. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Where was he? And was he even alive? Okay. The answer was yes, he was alive and living a solitary life. This time, mm. self-imposed. It turned out he, he had discovered himself. an abandoned mine on a mountainside in the Hokkaido wilderness mm -hmm. and was able to make a home for himself. For okay. food, he lived off nuts and berries, wild rabbit. He lived off nuts is crazy. And raccoons. I was definitely gonna go there and this summer, able but to learn to catch crab from plans. the stream by observing the habits of bears. Life mm -hmm. was steady and safe, okay. but after a while, curiosity got the better of him. Mm, and so after two years of isolation, he made his way down the mountain to a nearby village. What he saw astounded him. The streets yeah, were goes. filled with signs written in English. The posters and flags emblematic of the war effort had vanished. And even more strange, young Japanese girls were holding hands with American soldiers. What on earth was going on? He grabbed a newspaper that had been set aside, flipped through the pages, and it was only then that he found out about the atomic bombs. Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Japan had surrendered the previous year, and he couldn't believe it. As with his wife, he felt it was now <laughs> pointless to hide, Bro, what are so bid farewell to his old hunter-gatherer lifestyle. He headed south of Abashiri for the next 50 days, 50? until he reached the city of Sapporo. Oh, At this God. point, he was starving, so he found himself a nice ripe tomato from a nearby field, which was a huge mistake. If you eat tomatoes, tomatoes, like, narrator got me talking different. If you eat tomatoes, you're weird as hell, bro. Tomatoes are probably one of the worst vegetables ever. Freaking hate tomatoes with a passion, bro. A farmer had spotted him and mistook him for a well-known local thief, which led to a scuffle, resulting in the farmer's abdomen being pierced by a blade. Sadly, he bled out and died. Oh, but nah. not before Shiratori was arrested for the crime. It wasn't long until police found out that they in fact had the infamous- Oh my god, he just keep getting arrested. Like, I really want the best for him. And he just keeps selling. He just keeps selling. 
What is good with this man? He just is attracted to prison on some shit. Tomatoes are mid. Tomatoes are definitely mid, bro. I hate tomatoes. Yoshie Shiratori in their custody. For his multiple escapes and having now murdered the farmer, despite his claims of self-defense, he was sentenced to death oh, by the nah. district court of Sapporo. And in 1947, oh, he was sent nah. to Sapporo prison to await execution. Okay. Now, to ensure he wouldn't escape this time while on death row, uh -huh. he was placed under 24-hour surveillance. With six I wouldn't be surprised if Kenny gets arrested one day if the fame gets him. Stop it. Stop it. Me arrested? If I ever get arrested, it's going to be on some BS. It's not going to be my fault for sure. Like, I literally don't do anything but stream. What am I going to get arrested for? Looking too good? Looking too good, chat? That's understandable. Six armed guards personally assigned to his watch. As for the cell itself, it was upgraded further from the one in Abashiri prison with reinforced doors, and ceilings, gave two windows. Bars, windows. In fact, any openings were made smaller than the size of his head, not just his body, learning from the Abashiri escape. Mm -hmm. As while he may be able to dislocate his joints, <laughs> that's one of his abilities to dislocate his skull. As long as it's no for taking all my maybe but they wouldn't even arrest me for that but he gonna get arrested because he's black i'm jack intent to because he's racist like no way you just said that head can't fit they were good the six guards were so confident in fact that they didn't even bother cuffing him now shiratori was getting old oh, nah. and the odds of escaping by this point were old. looking slim as his execution loomed near there was little he could really do and mm -hmm. the guards knew that they could see the desperation on his face looking stop up stop it it's not kidnapping if they want to be with me bro searching for an escape plan that they knew would never come. Though, still, just in case, they made sure to search his room every night while he was taking a bath in the bathhouse, inspecting the ceiling, skylight, and any other openings. A month passed, and winter was now coming, weakening him further. And I guess, but, bro, that's like saying... I don't have an analogy for you right now, but still. I don't know, that's questionable, though. That's and questionable the realization to was starting to dawn on him. He grew increasingly despondent, staying in bed, refusing to wake up, despite mm -hmm. the orders of the guards. This went on for a while, until one morning, the guards had enough and entered the cell to discipline him. Mm. They flipped over the duvet, and okay. he was gone. This was Like, is he really a magician on some sh**? It's not racist, I guess. Loki is bum. Tentacles, I wouldn't take that, I wouldn't take possible. that. How did he do it this time? Going back to when he was first placed under 24-hour surveillance uh -huh. with the six armed guards personally assigned to his watch. He had in fact conditioned them to look up and keep up from the very start. Not just because his previous escape attempts involved climbing through skylight windows on ceilings, mm -hmm. but also his suspicious yet, as it turned out, very intentional behavior of constantly looking up to figure out an escape plan. Mm -hmm. Little did they know, it was all an act and that he already had one but it would be taking place precisely where they weren't looking. Below, you see, it turned out the authorities below. were so concerned with him escaping through a window or mm. skylight that they neglected to reinforce the bottom. Ooh. This ironically ended up being his easiest and simplest escape because all he had to do was remove the bolted floorboards, uh -huh. which wasn't easy, but he had experience. But he used a and spoon, using a, a spoon to dig? And a miso soup bowl, dig his way to freedom. Oh, this nah. took over a month and he was able to hide his activities due to A, the guards not suspecting this approach, uh -huh. and B, the it's floorboard bad. panels being put back in place every night oh, after digging. The six guards who were, were keeping out. a good eye on him even at night, but with the hole consistently positioned underneath the futon and duvet, and it increasingly becoming the norm to refuse the orders of the guards to wake but up. The guards gotta be slow though, like, y'all gotta think of like every possible escape route, not only the ceiling, but I guess, I guess, and I thought like Asians were supposed to be smart as hell. People lied, I guess. Where the f did he put the dirt? That is a good question. question. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Placing a pile of loose floorboards underneath the duvet to trick them they tell us. was also a callback to his first prison escape in Aomori. So he had now escaped from prison four times. Okay. And by this point, no way he the gets story is starting to get right, ridiculous. No way. But this perpetual cycle of capture and escape, capture and escape was about to end okay. because a year later in 1948 Shiratori was exhausted Shiratori let's see right Shiratori because a year later in 1948 Shiratori was exhausted Shiratori. he was in his 40s now and this was a young man's game one day in the Kotoni neighborhood still in Sapporo as he stopped to rest mm -hmm. a policeman just happened to sit by his side for a smoke okay. he didn't know who Shiratori was but he struck up a conversation with him Shiratori, of course, was wary of his presence 
and tried to play it cool, all the while attempting to figure out a way to remove himself from the situation without being suspicious. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the now there was one time I was on the train in this freaking. This is a weird guy. He was telling me his whole life story. Like, I don't know why people in New York tend to do that. Policeman did something unexpected. <laughs> I guess it at least really to him. <laughs> Shut he up, pulled Chad. out another cigarette and offered it to him. Shiratori was stunned. You see, cigarettes were expensive luxury items in Japan at the time. And the Word. fact that someone offered it to him just out of the kind. It was expensive to get something that can literally possibly like affect your health. And okay. of his heart brought tears to his eyes. Not to mention all his life, he had been abused and mistreated by officers of the law, with okay. even the head guard Kobayashi turning his back on him. And here was an instance of an officer treating him kindly, with respect, For and with no prejudgment. I guarantee you, bro, if he knew he, who you were, bro, he would have locked you up. Like, the only reason he being nice to you is because he doesn't know you. He just thinks you're a park random, bro. If he knew you, who you were, bro, you would have been in change, like, in an instant, bro. As he smoked the cigarette, Shiratori couldn't help but tell the officer his full name, Yoshie Shiratori, oh, and that God. he had escaped from Sapporo prison uh -huh. last year. In fact, he had escaped from Bad prison move. four times in his life. Bad it was strangely move. a relief to get it all off his chest, and he was even ready for the consequences. After the Kobayashi incident, he had vowed never to trust another officer of the law again. And then he but gives you a cigarette, and like now you want to tell him your whole life story? Doesn't make sense to me, but I guess. of receiving a cigarette from a stranger lied, I guess, broke him. Of course, he was arrested again. But this time, things were different. Okay. Maybe it was the fact that he willingly gave himself up mm -hmm. or that Japan's justice system was going through a change. But the High Court of Sapporo became sympathetic to Shiratori's plight and some of his past claims were recognized, uh -huh. such as acknowledging the farmer's death as a legitimate case of self-defense. Yeah. They also made note that throughout all four of his prison escapes, he didn't kill or injure a single guard, Facts. despite the abuse he may have suffered at their hands. At Facts. the end of the deliberation, the high court dismissed Fireworks. the murder charge, revoking his death sentence, mm -hmm. and instead sentenced them to just 20 years in prison. Yeah, Further, they approved his request up. to be transferred to a Tokyo prison, where the weather was warmer. Mm -hmm. He was getting what he wanted. In Tokyo, he was sent to Fuchu prison, where Fuchu. for the first time, the guards Fuchu. actually treated him well. Yeah, that was crazy, that was crazy. There were all these precautions and security measures in place to ensure that the infamous Maybe. prison break I doubt it. I don't think so, wouldn't no. escape. But the truth was, Shiratori didn't really care anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything he'd been fighting against, the mistreatment from guards, the death penalty, mm -hmm. even the northern climate. Cap, he's my no dad longer. and I called him and he said he killed every guard he saw. In DTA Twitch, okay, your dad needs to be put away for a few years, I'm not gonna lie. Of concern. And he was at peace. There was no need to escape anymore. Mm -hmm. He finally accepted his punishment and for the remainder of his sentence acted as a model prisoner. Just 14 mm. years later, in 1961, he was released on parole. Okay. And for the first time in a long time, he was <laughs> yeah, truly a, a free man. He decided to head back to Aomori where it all began uh -huh. and meet up with his daughter, who by this point- That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm not talking about your pops, but I'm talking about Shitori, but I have a name. Son, 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 still, like, still to this day, he never should have been locked up in the first place. Not to this day, but he shouldn't have been locked up in the first place because the crime that he got blamed for wasn't even his fault, bro. He was innocent. He got wrongfully freaking, um, freaking locked up for something that he didn't do. And he still did the punishment. Like, that's so messed up, bro. The only family member he had left. For his incredible escapes, Yoshie Shiratori became a legend, an anti-hero in Japan. But okay. it was very much the opposite for the country's penitentiary system, which had somehow allowed him to escape time and time again. Mm -hmm. This was a national embarrassment for Japan. But just as preventing criminals from breaking you. out of the system is vital for the safety of society, so is preventing them from breaking into the system. Your system, that is. And for that, I'd personally recommend. Bro, like, I'll add, bro, I'll add. Yeah, this guy's abilities were, was crazy, bro. I think we just might have found, like, the next Superman. L video, this was not an L video. Yeah, W video uh, came up for all of you guys. Yeah, we out.